हेलो चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ शेत विद्या मंदिर माय सेल्फ लविना टीचर स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ सीबीएसई सब्जेक्ट साइंस दिस वीडियो इज ऑफ चैप्टर फोर्टीन हेवनली बॉडीज पार्ट थ्री मिटियोर्स एंड मिटियोराइट्स we see streaks of light in the sky at night these are called shooting stars or meteors they are the rocky materials entering the earth's atmosphere that burn completely due to friction and the oxygen present in the air so we see a streak of light the bigger pieces may not get completely burnt and may hit the earth the meteors which reach the surface of the earth are called meteorites comets a comet is a large lump of frozen gases mixed with bits of rocks and dust when it comes close to the sun the solar wind from the sun blows particles from the comet into a tail which always points away from the sun the famous comet is halley's comet it looks like a star with a tail it appears once in every 76 years it appeared on 9th february 1986 eclipse eclipse is formed when the sunlight is blocked by heavenly body from another the two types of eclipse are lunar eclipse and solar eclipse let us know lunar eclipse in detail lunar eclipse when a dark shadow slowly begins to cover the face of the moon a shadow creeps over the moon This is what happens during an eclipse of the moon. It is called a lunar eclipse. It takes place when the earth comes between the sun and the moon. When this happens, the earth casts shadow on the face of the moon. Lunar eclipse occurs only on a full moon night. When the earth's shadow covers the complete disk of the moon, we cannot see the moon at all and it is called total lunar eclipse when the earth covers the moon only partially then we have partial lunar eclipse lunar eclipse last for a short time it can be for few minutes to few hours once the moon moves out of the shadow of the earth it starts receiving the sunlight and can be seen once again this picture shows the phases of the moon moon goes around the earth at a speed of about 3219 km per hour one revolution of the moon around the earth takes nearly 27 and 1/3 days solar eclipse solar eclipse is formed when the moon comes between the sun and the earth the moon's shadow falls on the surface of the earth it occurs on a new moon day if the sun cannot be seen at all it is called a total solar eclipse if only a part of it is seen it is called partial solar eclipse solar eclipse also last for a short time once the moon moves out from the light of the sun solar eclipse disappears and we can see the sun once again solar eclipse is seen only in certain parts of the earth the place that comes under the shadow 
lunar eclipse is more common than the solar eclipse we should never see the solar eclipse directly or even through the sunglasses if you do so you may damage your eyes